Step 7. Adding an ARCHICAD object to the structure. Activate the appropriate view set in the navigator. Double-click the object tool in the toolbox to open its settings dialog. Open the Steel Beams BS folder located in Basic Library, 1.4 Building Structures, Steel Structures, and select the Universal Columns Beam object. In the Parameters tab page, open the Placement tab. Change the rotation axis to a long axis and set the rotation angle to 20 degrees. Under Dimensions, customize the serial size. Enter 250 for the value of width and 700 as depth of section. Web thickness and flange thickness should be set to 35 millimeters, root radius to 8.9 millimeters, and the value of depth between fillets to 265.2. Define MTL stainless steel as your material and structural bearing as your layer. Return to the floor plan by closing the settings dialog box. Activate the rotated diagonal geometry method in the info box. Place two objects between the interior sides of the beams perpendicular to them as shown. Use the appearing guidelines or hold down the shift key to create the beams in vertical constraint direction. You don't have to set the exact positions and altitudes for these objects because they will be modified later in the section project view. Open the S01 section. To do this, right click on the section line and select Open Section from the context menu. Select one of the two beam objects placed in the last step. Move the profile by its center anchor point. Position it at the imaginary intersection point of the leftmost slanted column's axis and the inclined beam's axis. Place the second element at a distance of 2.2 meters from the first one. Make sure that the newly placed beams are aligned with the top and the bottom planes of the inclined beam. Switch to 3D window and select the second object to be moved. Using the multiply command allows you to increment 12 copies of this element at equal distances. Make sure that the vertical displacement control is on. Return to the 3D window. Click on the top right corner of the first placed object as shown. Click twice on the top right point of the second element which serves as a reference for horizontal and vertical distance during the operation. Now only two beams are missing from the structure. To speed up the process, we've already placed these on a hidden layer. Activate the 4.7.1 Additional Beams Preset view to make them visible. The two beams appear on the floor plan. Now, open the S1 section to check their position in the model.